week and a new day and how are you all i hope you had a beautiful weekend and i am doing a one card reading for um today the 22nd of june and i'm using uh, the book the tarot and the chakras i've done a review on it by Marian jacobs and why do i use this well, tarot shows us what the needs are and the chakras um, shows us where to focus on and meditation shows us how to focus. Now we have the night of water and that's the element of water. The night, uh, the night of cups is the element of water and we also have the um, what you call it, uh, the touch, that's an other therapy and that is uh, rocking as it is a circle with a cross in it and it is cardinal. So anybody that knows the, uh, the, th uh, the theory or the uh, therapy touch then you will know what I'm on about. And um, the sub element in this card is air because we can do we can't do without air air is the lighter the lightest el of elements it's lighter than all the other elements so subtle yet so vital we can survive for weeks with no food that is earth days with no water hours with heat but we only have minutes to survive um, if we don't have air breath or breathe breath is life and that is what we need so the night of water in the tarot stands for news this news could come from uh, uh, a cancer we are just in gone into cancer so happy birthday cancer and this is also uh, could also be a Scorpio or a Pisces so it is a very spiritual day today as the water is also emotions the tarot card stands for or the water the cups stand for love passion nurturing taking care so in other words taking care means of service so you could be getting a job or doing a job in service this could be in a hospital but this could also be uh, working in uh, an office or a reception area serve uh, helping other people with information if you've applied for a job you might get an answer back news about the job if you've been to a job interview okay or you might meet a new love and that could be one of the three signs Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Now the attributes of the Knight of Water I have given you my version. You can see it's the cups there. It could be an offer but uh, the attributes of the Knight of Water tends to be forceful in, quiet, in a quiet way. He or she is a great romantic and dashes off to rescue people in need or in distress. He or she may even gush and be sentimental and oversensitive. The Knight of Water is a warm and giving person. This card indicates the pursuit of love relationships in general. Her or his downside is that he or she wears their heart on their sleeve and might be inclined to seduce anyone. Advice. If you are looking for romance, this is the person for you. He or she opens you to uh, you up to sharing and to creativity and creatively fantasizing. There's a beautiful little story here in the 1990 film Pretty Woman written by J.F. Lawton and directed by Gary Marshall 
Edward, a wealthy businessman, hires Vivian as an escort, although Vivian is smart and beautiful. She has had to resort to prostitution. Edward is a callous businessman. Over their time together, Vivian and Edward both soften and fall in love. Edward is Vivian's knight of water. So we have the element of water, the touch, the sub-element and the chakra. And the chakra is the sacral chakra. Now um, I can go into most of detail um, and let me know underneath the video if you would like me to go in more into the chakras and deeper into what they mean or you can get the book uh, yourself you can find the information uh, underneath the review video um, and also more um, a detailed explanation about the book but um, for the elements of water the uh, cancer stands for breasts or the chest and Scorpio stands for the pelvic area and the pelvic area is also the reproductive area because of the uterus and also because the baby lies in the water whilst it's growing in the uterus. Of course it also means sensuality as it is the reproductive organs and new beginnings, birth, birth of ideas, birth of, of a child. And Scorpio is the pelvis area and Pisces is the feet. Now you can go into really deeper into the chakra in this book and what it means but we all know water is uh, air uh, water needs air um, now I'll read a little bit about it the water element conveys our ability to re be receptive to flow and to be flexible water is nurturing and facilitates making connections it is about uh, cyclical energies. Water receives and accepts all things. It also can be overwhelming and or dissolve boundaries. Like the fish in, ta um, in Lenamon, they, the water does not know any boundaries. So perhaps today is the message for you also. If somebody offers you something, then make sure that you know your boundaries and whether you want to accept it or not. In nature, water is found in the oceans, lakes, rivers, brooks, streams. It's also seen gen uh, gentle rains and hurricanes. Water is the element character of all forms of liquid. So like the uterus, when the baby it grows, it lies in the water. The physical body uh, is also fluid. 70% and this author says 60% so I'll keep it to that. Water is also associated with our chest or breasts like I said pelvic area, the feet, lymphatic system and any kind of secretion glands. Since water is associated with nurturing and the sense of taste the artistic attribution is cooking for the water signs. It's like a mother, she cooks and nurtures the family with food. Okay. The voice quality of the water element is flowing and smooth. Emotions in the water element are specifically associated with sadness, attachment, holding on, letting go, and going with the flow belonging, accepting and making emotional connection with other predominant water imbalances can entail compulsiveness and addictions like drinking and it also um, says uh, water connects the mother to the child, adults to their sexuality and our feet to the earth. Our bodies are made up of 66% water 
and earth is about 60 percent water and also since um, uh, the sub element is air I will conclude with a little bit about the air science we all know that air is thought um, also communication and also clarity and also wisdom and justice okay um, when I get an air sign I will go more into the air sign um, but the air shine uh, sign um, attributes um, and the astrological as uh, astrological reflex areas are Gemini shoulders Libra kidneys Aquarius ankles so it could also be um, that you are receiving an offer of one of the air signs and also um, that you might need to drink more water so if you are a cross watcher Gemini Libra or Aquarius then you might need to drink more water or you might have ailments in the shoulders or ankles so have a look what resonates with you okay some of you might be hearing uh, getting the news that you are pregnant so if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions look at what just one card can bring in as information now the foods for the air signs are more or less um, walnuts and fruit and for the water signs it's like lettuce, cucumber, watermelon um, and the lighter vegetables like greens, green beans um, so that could um, be um, your message for today change your diet and um, also all the water uh, or fluids in the body drink more water uh, perhaps you might have to uh, eat it's wise to eat more uh, greens or uh, uh, food with juice in it so get your vitamins in and your proteins and your minerals I hope you've enjoyed the reading for today the 22nd of June happy birthday cancer and have a great day take care God bless and be blessed and I will see you tonight Monday night and keep an eye on the community tab in YouTube Instagram or Facebook so I will let you know what time I will go live be blessed everybody and take care thank you very much for liking and sharing have a wonderful day and week